So Faith, you guys ready for this? Uh, the girls are always ready to play their first game. The coaches are never ready for the first game. So that's a yes and no. Do you know anything about these teams? Well, we played Texas A&M Corpus Christi last year. Um, they came here and we were, we played okay and won the game. Um, so we know a little bit about them as far as their personnel and some of the sets they ran last year. So I feel like we at least have a handle on them rather than them being a complete unknown entity to us. So um, we'll go through some of their stuff tomorrow in practice and hopefully have a good game plan set for Friday. So you start out with, uh, what, four games on the road? Yes. Are you, do you like that? Or, I mean, you know, particularly just gets tougher. Then you got, what, San Francisco and Cal? Yeah, it's a challenging schedule for us, for sure. I certainly feel like, you know, last year we had uh, meeting some, some tasks of playing top-notch basketball. Oregon State is currently top 10. We face them later in the year. Cal's typically a top 20 team. So those are huge challenges for us. But the only way to get better is to play against the best teams and sometimes get your clock cleaned if that's the result, but also giving an opportunity to see how you uh, stack up next to some of the top teams. It's a great challenge. It's certainly a super opportunity for us to um, show recruits that we play top-notch basketball, and it's up to us to try to meet the measure of some great teams like we're facing on our schedule. Mm -hmm. What kind of success are you expecting from this season? Uh, we're, every day is a work in progress for us, and it'd be hard for me to predict what kind of um, place we would finish in conference. Every year we start out and we say we'd love to win a championship, and that's our aim. Uh, we're not playing right now as if that would be a declarative statement from me. But uh, with time, I think that we'll become a, a good program um, and competitive in the Big West. At this stage, it's a work in progress. That's the best I can tell you. Uh, Coach, how are the twins? Well, Din's been out for a little bit with uh, an ankle injury, but we got her back this week for practice, and we expect for her to be able to compete on the weekend. Uh, so we're hopeful, but they're both excellent players. I think that if I had to forecast for them, their futures are very bright here at Cal Poly, and you know whether they tackle some of the records that we have in our books or um, have all conference accolades come their way in their future, I think I would be very confident in saying I think that's part of their future forecast. Um, the, the style of play, you know, how, you know, last year was, you know, Ariana ran the ball, she was in control. What sort of, uh, what sort of style do you guys want to play? Uh, Hannah, another year experience, is it a little bit slower now? Well, the speed of our attack, uh, it has to be quick. What I've seen so far in the two scrimmages that we've had, that's the one area that has to be addressed because the speed of our attack has been um, not as quick as it needs to be. And I think for us to be successful, we have to be playing at a breakneck speed. Uh, Hannah is very, very talented, very quick, and we want to use the speed that she has. We just need to have the other guards advance the ball a little bit quicker so that we can get her some good looks on the block. It is a very different team in many regards. Uh, Obviously, we were so blessed to have a great playmaker like Ariana on the court in the past that uh, some of the other players didn't have to do much decision making because she had the ball in her hands and was making most of the decisions for the team. And they got to be the lucky recipients of her great passes. Well, now it, it requires, with her uh, departure, it requires more decision making from a number of different entities on the court. And that's proving to be uh, a work in progress. Uh, you know, you, you kind of thought it was uh, Ariana's team and then Kristen's team. Uh, this year, is there a player who's, who, who, you know, is kind of a, a, a vocal leader like uh, Ariana was in the past? Well, I think that the team would suggest to you that their greatest strength is their team. I don't think there's going to be one particular player that stands out as far as 
scoring or uh, vocalization. I certainly think that Beth Balbeers has tried to take on a great leadership role for us. Also, Lisa Sanchez is uh, working hard at the point guard position to fill the void with the graduation of Ariana. There's a, a number of factors, I think, that can help us be successful. But if, if we had one or two players that emerged um, as you know 20 points a game, that would really surprise me. I don't think that that's going to be who we are this year. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure.